Yeah, I'm back again. Yes, you know, I'm taking this 650 engine apart and I found some several faults there uh, inside the engine. Um, first, undo the flywheel. I have a special bolt. I sell them on my uh, internet site, markobecker.nl and that's a lot easier to remove the flywheel. Other side on. So, yes, this is a common problem. Sometimes you can't get out or get off the flywheel. Start the gear. Why? I really do not know. I not a good explanation for it. Explain. Oh, it's wrecked. Not enough tension up. Oh, that one is broke. I hate it when somebody is so stupid to rebuild an engine like this. I have seen a lot of mistakes. Also, copper grease. Don't use it, it's not necessary. Everything is black on your hands and dirty and yeah. You don't need copper grease. Normally all bolts are staying in for 30 years. I take them out even easily. Only the stainless steel bolts, that's a bit different story, but I don't want to use stainless steel bolts on those engines because the tension and the uh, force of the bolt is different than the original one. So I use only the steel bolts from Honda or a different brand but it's still standard 8.8 .8, I think so totally spring missing gear is wrecked so I can throw that away in the recycle bin so <laughs> I have a lot of of recycle stuff oh yes I had something seen and I want to show you that because that's the other stupid part that is made. The distribution chain has to follow a path and Honda has made that path with tensioners, plate and gears and cogs, whatever you call it. I have seen and I see it already yet, this one is not good installed. Look. This bushing has to be on the other side. Oh, that was not timed on. Strange, strange. Everything what I do on this engine. I think this engine. Oh, that's not on a timed also. It makes me angry because this engine deserves better. Oh, that plate that throw away. So we're going to check like that. So you can take it out now because the chain is keeping. To it was not installed. So it's a good way to take all the engine apart and I still say if you want to rebuild an engine or find an engine that you think it is okay don't believe it it's only okay when you hear it running I never heard this running and I'm happy to destroy the engine also that's it's not a big deal but it's a sign Those things tend to break or the pairing gets stuck and it doesn't work any longer. This one is usual. Think on this. This is special bolt, special thread, hardened. Stronger. It's the smaller version. Yeah, we can use that. That's no problem. But I have a lot of them.
so I reuse them I make tools of them so yes okay it was fallen on the ground ground but I've seen a bigger problem I think this engine is never in when you install the guide you have to put those bushings on the inside and then install it the engine if it keeps falling out please a little bit of ball bearing grease maybe copper grease whatever will help you with it it will stick inside there and then you can work fine then the distribution chain oh yes I look always inside and I, when I see not even this coloring or I see teeth with a point on it then I know enough and this one I throw away I don't want it anymore then I look at the bolts that bolt is grinded away not that one so somebody has rebuilt this engine and put not the right bolt on the right place why I really do not know you know yeah throw it away oh it's also broke there yes throw it away it's fine to find an engine that is done well by its owner it was not me and it makes me a little bit angry but why I should not be angry maybe I'm angry on my own because I let it stood for 50 years in my shed and that's maybe the biggest problem of all so I told you those gears I have on stock I weld a stick on it a wooden stick no an iron rod or something like that and uh, later this year I have three ready because I send them away I want to uh, play them with uh, zinc so it feels nice and it looks nice and now where is my tool there it, is. it was not properly installed I can feel it I do not remember from who I bought this engine but it was not of my own it's fine thread special hardened bolt nuts those bolts are the toughest one in the engine the strongest one the hardest one you can't kill them it's stronger than your tool really believe me I have tested and I asked several people to undo or to do tie them on in the engine to kill it to, to brush, destroy it and all what's happened they kill their tools so strong is it it's really strong and I do not understand how it is possible that is so strong it doesn't feel right it feels not good fucking hell watch that that's new I have never seen that before I thought I knew everything but this new hmm that's strange look that's not good at all there is a line a hollow line we can throw that away why this engine so bad black this never been out there must be more broken on this engine this one is reusable yes this is ok I do not know those hollow axes because I didn't know they exist so I don't understand 
Maybe it is used on the later versions. Oh, that's strange. I've never seen that before. Maybe. It's grinded away for a long surface and then a hollow line there. It doesn't feel good. It's too much. I can't use it. Throw it away. That's fine. You see a small line only you can almost not feel it. You may feel a little bit of line. That's fine. You can use it. But this one is starting to go already yet. But I can use it. So I'm really know interesting to know how the camshaft is at the moment. And why does it feel so difficult to get it out? That's not the way to do it. I need a bigger tool. Oh. I not touched it, but I know already yet something is wrong with it. Um, also broke. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Everything is black. That tells me there is a bigger problem with the engine. And there. I didn't touch it with a plier or something, so there is grinded or pitting inside and also there the teeth are broke away, but that's not the biggest problem, but they are gripped with a special plier. There, there is not what I want to see. Yes, this knock also burned away or grinded away. Strange. It seems that the camshaft is very very hot, but I don't believe so. The oil has burned out. I think I can see more problems. Fucking hell. Damn it! I I need those I need those camshafts because I want to improve the power of a 500 engine. <laughs> Ok, we take those bolts out and then, oh, this engine is killed. I see another problem, they have put copper wire inside the hole of thread and they pushed the bolt in it, that's why it was so tightened on, also those bolts are wrecked. This person was not capable of working on an engine, he didn't feel what he has to do. He has no feelings at all. It was a hell for this engine. And also I see more problems. How farther and deeper I go, how more problems I see. I hope I have enough air. That's not much. <laughs> I need those bolts! I want those bolts! Um, I think they were not turned on. Ah. Stupid guy. Sorry. I'm taking out of the gearbox transmission. And it's not the good way to do it because this engine is tilted backwards and I prefer like that because I hope the gears will stay on it. No, 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 no. I have to make a video about those gearboxes, the different things, the different things I see. I hear something falling. Oh, hello! Please come to daddy! 
So one of the gear shifters was falling out and what I can see it had never been used. Well, never been used. <laughs> it's a big say. Now it is all fine. That's good. Those gearboxes are very good of Honda. And now I need that axle there. Please come out of the engine. Why it's stuck? I really do not know. And I see something different again. This X. Oh. It's new. Don't get out. Yeah. I don't see it there. Why? Why? How is that possible? And this X is hollow too. I have never seen that. I really do not know what's happened here. So that's new. Okay. I will show you later on those gearboxes. Because I want to tell about a story about it. I think I have them all three in stock now. So, I'm ready with this video. Please pick me up on the uh, next video and then I'm going to remove those uh, pistons. Maybe we can find uh, problems. Maybe I have some uh, information for you. We shall see. Oh, this engine is wrecked. Pick me up next video. Thanks for watching.